Irma inflatable bed gets a beating. It is a special occasion when Irma inflatable bed is taken out and inflated. There must be a slumber party or some unexpected guest staying over. Irma is excited. Instead of sleeping in her cardboard box, she gets to stretch and sleep with a fuzzy blanket around her. But Irma doesn't know who is sleeping over. It is Dennis, Baby Lee's cousin. He is a little bit more active than any normal kid. Before anyone could blink an eye, excited Dennis was already jumping up and down on Irma with all of his might. His heels were digging into Irma's tummy. His elbows were ramming into Irma's sides. Then comes his shoulders. Dennis clearly enjoys the feeling of bouncing up and down an inflatable bed. While Dennis was having a good time, you can imagine how Irma must have felt. Irma never met such a terrible kid. Tummy and back pain were the order of the day. No more false dreams of peaceful and warm fuzzy evenings. Irma can only keep mum until Dennis gets tired of kicking and stomping and finally falls asleep. It is going to be a dreadful weekend. The next morning, Irma was barely awake when the feet and elbow action started again. Irma was scrunching in pain. Dennis really needs to be taught a lesson. Thankfully, Dennis was distracted by the smell of morning porridge and left Irma alone for a while. As soon as breakfast was over, Dennis jumped back on Irma with all his might. Bam! A loud thud was heard in the house. No more bounciness this time. What Dennis doesn't know is Irma deflated herself a bit while he was having his morning porridge. Dennis's bum landed smack on the hard stone floor. Ouch! Dennis started to cry. Mrs. Lee came to comfort Dennis. Now, now, Dennis. You shouldn't be jumping up and down on the airbed. It will cause accidents. That did teach Dennis a lesson. He was still and well behaved while his bum was recovering from the thud. Irma can now look forward to her warm, fuzzy, peaceful weekend.